Okay, and our uh, Christine Lazar is actually live in Porter Ranch. Let's go to her and see what the conditions are like at this point. Hi, Christine. Hi there. Yeah, if you're familiar with the area at all, I'm just north of Rinaldi at Corbin, not far from the YMCA, and there's some medical buildings here. I want to show you the scene behind me. Just about, I would say, a half an hour ago, all of this was on fire. I was driving in the area. I saw 30-foot flames. We immediately turned around. Um, thankfully, there are a lot of fire trucks in the area, as you can hear and see where we are right now. They have been aggressively attacking this fire. We've had airdrops as well. And just on the other part of this ridge, our home. So with these erratic winds, we're not just dealing with these open canyons that you see here. We're dealing with homes that butt up to those canyons. I can tell you the conditions here. I don't live far from here. It is The air quality is terrible. Um, I've been around fires before, but this is really bad. The winds are just so strong. It's really difficult to breathe. It's hard to keep your eyes open. I took my kids to school this morning thinking that it was going to be in session because so far, you know, it was. LUSD hadn't closed yet. And as soon as we got there, they said, turn the kids around. Everybody's going home. So. Uh, a lot of people here, not just those in the evacuation zone, being affected by this. A lot of people experiencing respiratory issues, kids home from school when they were supposed to go. So uh, there's a lot going on out here. And I can tell you this area right here, I drove past it and it was fine. Five minutes later, we come back around and that's when we saw those flames. So that's why these firefighters just have to basically surround this area and wait for these hot spots and these embers to blow in this wind. Uh, Christina Brown, what time did you see those flames? And how high did you say they were? 30 feet? Oh, yes. They were climbing up the canyon. I mean, it was huge. I was able to see it off the road, and the road is. I don't, I'm terrible with distance, but at least, you know, two football fields away. Uh, it was about a half an hour ago. I'll be honest, I don't have a watch on, and I'm losing track of time because we've been running around. But it was about a half an hour ago. But as you can see, firefighters have made quick work here. We're now seeing just, you know, charred landscape and smoke. And, and no homes that you, you've seen catch fire, new homes, at least at this point, from those flames. No, no. Okay. This area right here is a canyon, and if you're familiar with this area, there's also some hiking trails. So it's a lot of open space right here. And, and you may have said it, and I may have missed it, but it looks like you're in a parking lot. Uh, are you at a business, a local business or something? Yeah, this right here, I believe, are some medical buildings, uh, and everything's closed, obviously. But we're literally right across the street. If, you, if you're from the valley and you live over here, you know the Walmart shopping center, and that's exactly where we are. In fact, we're not that far from where the gas leak was. So a lot of us news people are very familiar with this area as well. So we've got open space right here. You've got homes behind those, but some distance. And then you have a YMCA right up here, which is a huge YMCA. So obviously there's a lot to protect right here in this area. And I got to ask you this question because I'm sure a lot of moms and dads are watching. Uh, when you got to school and you realized that your kids, uh, the school was closed, uh, did you have a plan in place or did you have to quickly come up with something and then clearly get in front of the camera? Yeah, you know, you just got to gotta go with it. Uh, unfortunately, I had my husband out of town, so we utilized the help of neighbors, and we just turned everybody around. I will say a lot of our teachers are evacuated, so they weren't there, but the teachers who didn't live in the area all came into work, which is amazing, and they said, we will he we're here, we'll help you with your kids. So it wasn't just like, hey, get out of here. There were people there trying to help right. and trying to help those teachers, you know, and stand in for them because I know my son's teacher lives in Porter Ranch, so she's somewhere right now, but she has been evacuated. Oh, oh boy, I thank God for teachers every day yeah. just for that reason. Christine, exactly. thank you very much. Wow. And, and just what Christine was alluding yep. to, just the canyon, the activity down there with these flames, you know, a fire will burn faster uphill, and, and that's because the flames can just easily reach more of the unburnt fuel in front of it.